My name is Elena Sierra and I am applying for the Fred Frederick Douglass Global Fellow Fellowship Study Abroad Program in Dublin, Ireland. Frederick Douglass was a free once enslaved man who set the tone for the abolishment of slavery. I think his life and legacy had, has inspired me in a way to be courageous and honorable in my life. Seeing the inhumane ways of those who live today, I feel the way he did when it comes to knowing that unjust treatment on people of color is not right. His story has given me the viewpoint of someone who had come from nothing, paving the way for generations of people. I take his honor and courage knowing that although I may be one person, there is a way for me to do good in this world and create a voice for those who are repressed and underrepresented. As a Puerto Rican, my, Puerto Rican woman myself, I come from an underrepresented culture, one whose stories, culture, and independence was stripped away from the very beginning of colonialism. Knowing that Mr. Douglas was fighting for his people gives me a sense of hope throughout my life that I can help my country somehow find their voice again. When I first found out about this program, I realized that it was an amazing opportunity to experience another culture that I had no knowledge of. When I first became a student at Simmons University, I decided on an area of study that I had zero interest in. Honestly, I had no motivation for the kind of education I was learning. When I finally decided to switch to a major in history, I learned what I truly had a passion for, was learning about cultures and past experiences experiences of people's histories. I told myself that I would step out of my comfort zone in order to learn more and experience things I never have before. And this study abroad program was just that, an amazing opportunity. I also believe that my interest in this program is also due to the underrepresentation that I continuously feel as a Latino woman. There are so many opportunities that are simply not extended to us, and knowing that this experience was solely extended to underrepresented people of color gave me a sense of comfort and excitement. As a woman located in an, in an underrepresented city, I also I always notice the people who had less than me. It always hit my heart heavy knowing that although me and my family didn't have much, there were people so close to my home who had even less. Throughout high school and even to this day, my family and I always make extra meals for those who sit outside of a church down the street. I always carry extra blankets, clothes, and snacks in my car in order to help those who are in need. I know it may not be a big solution to the homelessness problem in my community, but it's a start. I like to think that there are other people who pass on the streets and see this, see this and take it as a little inspiration to do something good for someone they see struggling. Although I may not change the problem as a whole, I know that the people who I see are fed and clothed, and to me, that's what's most important. I think that this is a social problem that is extremely underrepresented as well. And knowing that our people out there, that our country is letting starve and die is something that needs a big solution and a big solution fast.